Okay, let's talk about uh, a chord inversion exercise that I had invented myself. What we do, I'm going to teach you what are called all the diatonic chord inversions in the key of C major. And once you have that information, uh, you'll be able to transfer it to pretty much any chord. So first of all, we start out with a C major chord, take the left hand, place it on the C, C below middle C, you're going to have your five finger on C, third finger on E, thumb plays G. Okay, now just use this as a reference point. Uh, you want to just uh, be able to draw all of your notes from this particular chord uh, in your right hand. So you have C, E, and G in your left hand. What you're doing is you're looking to build the chord starting on this E right here. But, however, you're going to have to find it one octave higher, so that would be here. So what we do is we take your thumb in your right hand, place it on the E. Now the second finger needs to find the G, which is this G here, here, okay? And then the last note that we're missing is the C, which was right here. Alright, so we have the same three notes, C, E, G just spelled in a different order, E, G, and C. Now this is what we call the first inversion chord. All right, now this would be a first inversion C major chord. Okay, next we have what is called a second inversion chord. And this time we're going to build starting from this note here. However, we're going to start it up one octave. So we start with our thumb on the G, Okay, next we need the C, okay, there we go, and last we need the E, which is right here. Okay, so once again, C, E, and G is uh, spelled in another different order. It's now G, C, and E, uh, otherwise known as a second inversion C major chord. Okay, so that's the C major chord.